Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's start it off. Give us the kind of background on. I'll give you my quick background yeah. and why this helps so much. Yes. So I come from the construction business. My father's a general contractor, structural engineer. My mother's an architect. My brother's a general contractor. Wow. Every single one of my aunts and uncles on both sides of the family are wow. architects. Wow. So I'm originally from Argentina, where my family used to build a bunch of high rises. Uh, the construction pro- the construction business in Argentina is a completely different animal here because there's no lending. Right. Um, but when we moved here 30 plus years ago, we built hundreds of projects uh, from single family home to retail to apartments to condo. And where we really kind of built our bread and butter was in the condo business Interesting. before the world financial crisis. I see. Yeah. <laughs> The world financial crisis happened. We had about 40 condos. Is that the IMF? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. You know, 2008, 2009, Got we it. had about 40 condos Got online. It. Got it. Uh, we were able to sell the first 20 because it was a project in, in Pacoima that we were able to release in different stages. The first stage sold Got as it. condominium. Okay. But by the second stage, the business had dried up. There were no more buyers. Right. So we were able to reposition the loan into an apartment loan, rented it out, held it for three, four years, and then made some money when we sold it. Good. So we survived. Good, good. But in that process, I came to the realization that there's more money to be made in selling the land than building the land. Okay? <laughs> I see. So I made a big change uh, and got full-time into brokerage, um, kind of started off on my own a little bit, and then over the years, I started out at a company called Partners Trust, moved to Partners Trust, and we were acquired by Pacific Union and in turn acquired by Compass. That's right. Um, Compass is now a massive company, as you might have seen today. We raised another Series G. Yeah, series G. Congrats. Six and a half billion. Makes no difference to you. <laughs> uh, maybe they'll buy us more snacks now, but yeah. part of that, it's pretty much you know, uh, par for the course. Everything kind of stays the same. Yeah. Um, but the cool thing about what's happened is that my access to land deals and my ability to really understand land mm-hmm. has transitioned from really growing out of the apartment building business and now further into the the land business where my business is really kind of 50 50 land right the other 50 is apartments retail whatever right. it is right, right, right. um and it's and it's it's been booming right uh there's obviously the market is shifting right now but the the cool thing about what you guys were doing is that there's there's so many different elements to consider with underwriting land yes. and like I'm pretty good at it but I make mistakes right and what I think for me especially for a guy like me that does this day in and mm-hmm. day out mm-hmm. uh, that more than anything this makes sure that what I'm seeing mm-hmm. is correct and I've made many mistakes right. I still make mistakes but this is a great catch-all right um, and what's also great about you guys is that if I find something that I don't understand or any clarification on it's not just well take it as it is there's people here that actually can help out and we can dig further, dig deeper into what the question is. Right. Um, great example would be a, a deal I'm selling in, in Virgil Village mm. that we did a brick and work after I took the listing. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> right. that was my first foray into yeah. the SNAP. Yes. Which is notoriously the worst SNAP. It is. And I was in sub area B. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know this. Yes. Yes. So we got into so the price change. We reduced the price substantially. Now it's you know it's sold. It's a, a lot of it has kind of come from the fact that helps me further understand. In the city of LA, with how many specific places? About thirty plus. Yeah, unbelievable, Easily. right? Yeah, CPIOs and Q conditions. Car, I mean, uh, CRA and yeah. Q conditions and does the you know limit delimitations and it's a nightmare. Yeah. So it's not even so much about me learning through this process, but it's really my checks and balances. Got it. And that's what goes a long way with my clients. If I say something dumb, they don't come back to me. Got it. If I I don't more than the next person, I keep winning business. Awesome. Well, that's great to hear. Like, uh, I'm so super excited that um, you were an early adopter, and I think uh, someone with that background, um, uh, absolutely has uh, an advantage to understanding the value yeah. of 